80% of New Year's resolutions fail. Are you gonna be one of those people? If you're tired of setting New Year's resolution goals and failing, watch this video all the way to the end because I'm gonna talk to you about how you can stop being a failure. And I really mean it. I don't want you to be a failure anymore and it's time to level up. Look, and if you're serious about getting an amazing shape for 2023, make sure to like, share and subscribe because honestly, I've got a ton of videos coming for you and I think you're gonna find them useful. So let's get straight into it. How can you make sure you dominate your life and your health in 2023 without failing? Let's go. So there's gonna be two real ways you're gonna do this. And then the first one is goals. So the first thing is to set goals. I used to play for Crystal Palace and at Crystal Palace, we had a psychologist come in and he used to be a former professional footballer at Norwich and Tottenham. I can't remember his name, his name escapes me, but he showed us this way of goal setting that just meant that we was more likely to achieve it. And it was quite a simple system, really. The first thing that we had to do was set short-term, medium-term and long-term goals. A short-term goal might be anything from one to three months. A medium-term goal might be six months. Long-term goal might be a year, maybe two years, maybe even five years. Breaking them down in time specific ways was a great way to set the goals and that's probably something you've heard before right like everyone kind of does that but we broke it down even more than that and it's not like how you think about goal setting. Once we have that overarching goal so for example let's say my goal in 2023 is to drop 50 pounds okay my short-term goal in the first three months might be to drop my first 10 pounds my six-month goal might be to drop at least 25 pounds okay that's fine but then we need to think about how can we break that down into small achievable chunks so the next thing would be okay my short-term goals on a daily basis a weekly basis and then a monthly basis so you need to break it down into all the small steps Steps you need to do each time to actually achieve that major goal or else you're going to be stuck where you are but it wasn't just about setting those goals it was also about writing those goals down and i don't just mean typing them research shows us that writing these goals down on paper means that we're more likely to remember and there was a study done on students who did revision for test and the students that wrote down their revision notes on paper remembered the answers better than the people that use laptops to type them out so get yourself a pen and some paper and you'll be absolutely fine writing those goals because then you remember them and you're more likely to stick to them and we need to stick to our goals this year and not be like all those other losers. Now the next thing is to set realistic goals. If you're currently 30% body fat, you are not running a marathon tomorrow, mate. The reality is you have to set goals that are actually going to be achievable for you. So think about it this way. If I'm 30% body fat and I want to achieve something in six months, a realistic target for me is maybe get below 20% body fat, lose 10% on my body fat maybe even more than that to be honest but if we're just trying to aim for a realistic target we can't be making these crazy ass goals for example i'm not going to run a marathon tomorrow if i haven't ran at all all year so think about what you can actually achieve and if you don't know what's realistic for you ask somebody ask somebody that's been there i want to just add one more point with your goal setting set your goals in present tense so when you write your goals down, don't write it as if it's a future you, write it as if you've already achieved it. That gives you a more sense of realism. It makes you feel like, okay, I can actually achieve this and it doesn't feel out of reach. I'll give you an example. Let's say my goal next year for my fitness coaching business is to make 100K, yeah, that's my goal. Not really, but let's just say it was. I would write that goal as my coaching business generates 100K, that's it. And I put a date by it. So that's how I write my goals. I write them in present tense because then I just feel like, okay, that's me, I've done it, I've achieved it. It's a psychological hack because you have to start acting like the person you want to become remember that and the last thing here is support the reality is that going alone makes it 10 times harder and there is some research that indicates that setting accountability appointments made someone 95 percent more likely to hit their goal that wasn't in relation to fitness but let's just imagine that that's probably going to apply to fitness too so what does that support look like it could be a pt it could be an online coach it could be a friend it could be a partner it could be a support group but you need support because doing it on your own means you're you're probably going to fail in the long run and I want a 95% chance of me being successful to be honest so accountability and support is the way to go plus if you don't know what you're doing how are you gonna do it on your own you have to think about these things when you decide how you're going to hit your fitness goal for 2023 so look if you don't want to be like all these other people you don't want to be like the 80% of failures in 2023 my advice is to do these things set your goals present tense be realistic long term short term medium term and get support because that's going to increase your chances of being successful by 95%. And I don't know about you, man. I don't know about you. But I 
I'm determined to be a success. But look, I told you I got something for you. If you want my goal setting sheet, the link is in the description. This is the goal setting sheet that I actually use for my current clients. I'm giving it away for free because I wanna just see, I wanna support you guys and make sure you guys are on point. No opt-in required. I don't need your email or your number. I don't care, just take it. It's there, take it, use it. And if you need any help, leave a comment below and I will probably reply to the comments because I'm not famous on YouTube, so I still got time to do that. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. I've got more videos coming. It's Jav, Spectrum Fit. Peace. Peace.